welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we're bringing you a fun thrift haul and a bonus what sold because I have 10 items that sold um, already and that I need to ship out. So we're in the middle of the week and I'm going to be sharing a thrift haul and a what sold. So I hope you enjoy the little intro of the flowers and the um, hummingbirds. Hummingbird, I do have more than one though. Um, but the video is just the little sweet hummingbird eating food and um, I just wanted to share that little treasure with you because I see that all day long and um, I do realize that not everyone has that privilege. I live in the country, so it's easy for me to get them to come out here. And so anyway, I like to share those little treasures with you too in the video, and I hope you like it. So, I just want to, you know, have like a chill video. I don't want to feel rushed. And for that reason, I've decided that I'm not gonna actually pack them on this video as I share what sold like the ship with me it would take way too much time and so um, if you do want to see how I wrap and ship items I, sh I sell primarily on Poshmark but also on Macari now um, you can watch one of the other videos I will pop the playlist in here but without further ado let's go ahead and get started because I have quite a bit to share with you today um, the first thing I want to start with is probably just some muted, like, soft, neutral, summery pieces. And the one that I want to share, I guess, start off with is this crop top. It's smocked, striped, cotton, super cute. I just like the, um, whole, the whole shirt, obviously, for the summer. It's by Storia. And, you know, I, that brand is not a very expensive resell, resale value. However, I do think it's really, really cute and I liked it enough to purchase it. Um, and uh, share it in my closet. And I always do have my closet for my Poshmark linked in the description below. Okay, the next item I found were these American Eagle jeans, uh, shorts. So, right now, I am selling a lot of shorts. In the beginning of the summer, I was really picking up a lot of shorts before it got really, really hot. And I'm talking a lot. And I started to feel like, um, man, I think I got too much. But then now they're selling. So um, if I have any items, well, I don't. I have everything listed. I have no extra inventory of denim shorts or shorts for that matter. <laughs> everything I have is listed. So what I have right here is newly thrifted and the newly thrifted ones are also being sold right now so this is a pair of american eagle um i'm gonna point out it is a new brand because i have a pair that sold which is the i mean the old label this is new <laughs> very confusing what i said sorry this is the new label okay when you're thrifting if you see this one that's new um their older label was cursive. And I have a pair of jeans that sold so you can see the difference in the video right now, today. Um, the reason I like these, first of all, it was a crossover, I like that. The second reason is the difference, like the plaid, and so kind of like a patchwork design, yeah. So I definitely purchased those to resell, and also these were with it, the same size. They most likely were from the same donor at the thrift store, and so I purchased these as well super cute American Eagle. They do have, and this one has like the rainbow um, lettering and it has the name, which all that's in this in the description of my Poshmark room, but closet. Okay, now I feel like I'm talking fast. Please slow down. Did I say release? Relaxing and peaceful. <laughs> okay. Another, oh yes, American Eagle Outfitters. All right, so this is a new brand, the new label. I keep saying brand. And these are really nice. These are like almost new. And they have like a little flare. Let's see. 
Do you ever want to know, which I didn't show you in the shirts, but I'm going to show you the jeans. They always have it embroidered here usually. So these are actually the kick boot stretch. So I think these will sell really, really well in my experience with them in the past. So I purchased those to resell. The next item is a democracy top. This was actually in my closet, but you know what? I realized democracy does sell pretty good. So I do not ever wear it. I always think I'm going to, but if I wear white, I stain it. So <laughs> I listed it. Let somebody else wear it for a while too. Oh, this was such a fun outfit. So this is a set. Well, it was sold as a set. I can't prove it was a set or sold as a set, but it has ruffle hem. They're the chambray real light weight thing. Um, okay, I just listed them yesterday. I can't remember what it's made out of, but it's super nice and light for the summer. So the bottom is really cute. So yeah, this is really that coastal grandma that I talked vibe I talked about. This is it, right? Okay. I noticed the coloring is really yellow. I think it's this light. And then let me see how this looks on that lighting. I think this is better without that yellow cast. Okay. Alrighty, so the next thing that I thrifted was this beautiful, intimately free people, smocked tank maxi dress. I think I saw it was called Garden Party. But it's like ruffly, it just flows and flows and flows. And oh my goodness, I love this dress so much. It's a small, if it would have been medium, I'd keep it. But it's not, but you know what? I'm on the look for look out for one for me because I love it so much. Okay, and this one I don't know a lot about the brand Lost and Wander, but it's this lightweight floral sarong type wrap, I guess you would say. Skirt. Or um I think stuff like this really cute. I wear that over a swim, a uh, swimsuit cover up. All right, I have a fun one. I always used to hear about Jam's World and then I found a few and they looked vintage to me and um, but they still sold well. I found this. I couldn't believe new with tags. Look at this beauty. This is the most beautiful piece by Jam's World that I have found. I would say, okay, the light's really sunny. One second, you got, I'm so sorry, let's see. Um, so yeah, Jam's World, let's see if I can show you, because I would say it's definitely a bolo, definitely a bolo. Mm, not even sure if it's picking up, but you know, this label is not like the, the others. <laughs> They're usually real colorful. This one's real light, but anyway. So that is what, you know, it has the tags on it and it's this real colorful, I think like artsy, you know, or 70s stuff. I don't know, just gorgeous. This I think is the thing I was most excited for the haul to show you. <clears throat> okay, and Along the same line, I mean, colorful, bright, I found these. And there are this texturized scallop hem, and the brand is, <laughs> seems like I've had at least one, the Lipolitzer, in every video recently. So, I did sell a pair of linen shorts, so I kind of shared this before to make this fun for me. If I sell a certain item, I will then either list from my inventory that same item type of item or 
thrift it. So I'll kind of show you what I mean as I'm sharing with you what's sold. So keep that in mind as we go along. And this is a corduroy skirt that I found. Again, another brand that I've mentioned almost every video recently. I say it's my favorite, which is Bowden, British brand. And it is, this one reminds me of fall. It has this ruffle detailing at the bottom. So I got this one for sure, because you know I love bone skirts, and they really do sell well for me. So there was another one that was 100% wool. Now I'm going to show you there's a difference, okay? Normally I show you like the regular bone tag. Well, this one is Bowden British Tweed by Moon. This one's made in Romania, and this one is 100% wool, okay? So, it's a different label than the other Bowden. I don't think one, to me, in my opinion, as a reseller, is better than the other. However, I do not know a lot about the um, difference of those two. And, um, you know, I haven't noticed as far as reselling a difference. They both sell the same to me. Okay. Uh -uh. Let me back up. Actually, okay, if it's 100% wool, it will get a better return. So, the next item was this new with tags sweatshirt by, uh, by Sundry. It says, Bonjour. The only thing I was upset about when I got home, it is new with tag, but I noticed this, that it had like a... Mm -hmm distressing <laughs> uh, so you know what I had a decision I was just like you know what? I'm just going to list it I'm going to disclose that and someone with long hair is not going to care Ooh, I like that right okay next item is this one I didn't know what to think at first but I looked at the brand it's outer known give you a close-up of the label here and while I'm here can you look at the detail of this linen romper? It's just like, uh, yeah, this is very unique. This reminds me of fall pumpkin spice color. So I said, yeah, totally. I love to have unique items in my closet. And I, that's definitely one. So. We shall see how that does. Subscribe so we'll see if it sells quickly. I just listed it. Speaking of sold quickly, remember the tongue twister one? Let's see. J. Jill Love Lemon Lemon. Wait. J. Jill Love Linen Lemon Dress. Okay. We could probably add a few more words in there because it will sell really fast, so I'd say be on the lookout. So we could kind of do add that to our jingle it can be like be on the lookout j jill love linen lemon dress there we go something like that so um i sold it it sold like the next day well how cool is this i was at the thrift store and i walked by and i noticed the lemons and i was like is that the same dress <laughs> Well, for a second, I thought that, you know, but I could tell this wasn't linen because the other one was pure linen. This one is by the brand Blue Island. I have never heard of it. Hold on, if I can get it here to show you. I hope it did its thing. <laughs> so I'd never heard of it. And um, I quickly looked up, did a little Google search, you know, and let me find out something at the top. It's rayon, but you know what? It's made in India, and when I looked it up, it, the comps were not bad. And the fact that I it was only like um, eight dollars, so I was like, yeah, it's really cute. I really want it in my closet. I just sold the other lemon dress. Why not replace it? And that's what I did. Alrighty, moving along. Actually, nope. Uh, nope, nope, nope. But I did give you guys... Okay, now the sun's going in, but I hope you can still see. I did give you guys a little 
sneak peek of the boots, the Merrill boots. So here they are. These are some beautiful espresso brown, waterproof, snowproof, super comfy <laughs> rubber bottom Merrill boots that I found. And I just sold the Sorel boots I shared. So these were perfect timing. Alrighty, I am also going to just share a little tidbit. I also had a whole bunch of random travel-y ties, some 100% silk, but as you can see, they're just a bunch of fun colors. And what I did is I took the ones that were like, this, I had two the same that were silk, and then the other was like different brand, and I bundled them. So again, playing with bundles, I'm experimenting that with that. We'll see, but those are listed too as bundles. So also, that I also did thrift. Um, that's it for the thrift haul part. Okay, I will do a little intercession here. Let's go do that and we'll come back and I'll show you what's sold. I hope you enjoyed seeing that and gave you a little break from my talking. So the next thing I want to do is to share with you what's sold because some, I know y'all like that. I see that a lot of people watch those. So let's go ahead and get started pretty quick. And I want to make the video really long, which is why I'm not going to wrap them, but I'm going to share where they're going to and what's sold. So these are a pair of all, they're called all birds. They are 100% wool running shoes and I had heard of them but then I finally found a pair and the first pair were very like almost like new and they sold for 30 something dollars so I found these after and our place you know kind of like so yeah I would love to have another pair of Allbirds so I got these and they I have had them a while I think because they're a little more worn but they ended up selling for $25 my earnings were 17 I paid 14 and I only made three um, and these are going to Florida, but I'm happy to rehome them. And, you know, I'm also going to be going from like the least amount of profit to the most as I usually do. So, um, the next pair, the next item sold is American Eagle outfit or high rise shorty short shorts. And again, you know, you might hear a lot of resellers say this is their bread and butter. This is the American Eagle outfit or new label and um you know a lot of people will say a lot of resellers will say that's their bread and butter and you know that's true it's a consistent seller um not i mean you know it could almost be daily because it doesn't sell for a whole lot it definitely usually sells for more than this these are a pair i've had a little while so i was more than happy to sell them and made a profit of six dollars and they're staying here in texas the next item that sold was these pair of Princess Polly shorts, which are super adorable, but my bad, my mistake, they are a UK brand, and I put in the UK size and also put in the US size, so they ended up selling, and I'm not sure she what size she wanted, so I already emailed a comment, a message the buyer, and I want her to confirm that she's fine with the size that they are or if we're gonna cancel the sale, but nonetheless, I just wanted to share, it is another pair of blue jean shorts. They are selling right now. So I'd say it's a pretty hot item. Um, American Eagle, I mean, American Eagle's doing really well right now in my closet. So another pair, which I was super excited to get an offer. These are the old labels. So it seems real, uh, just cursive and you know, they're just some skinny straight jeans. And I think that's why somebody just wanted a good old pair of basic, you know, this is a type I think of too. And so she bought them for $20. My earnings um, were, were 16, I paid five and my net profit was $11, you know? So that's really good, really good. I, I aim for a net profit of 10, just to let you know, for most average items like this. Not a substantial piece, of course. Okay, the next item is a really fun item. It's really pretty to me. I loved it so much when I got it. And it's this John Mark. It just looks so much more expensive than what it goes for. Because, I mean, look at the detailing of this. 
I just appreciate the work. You know, it's all embroidery, and it's just, uh, it's just a really, really beautiful, unique, I don't say, yeah, I would say unique tunic. Really, really nice tunic. And, you know, with black leggings and white boot, cowboy boots. Uh, why didn't I do, think it, it's a small, I just like looser. Um, it's So, yeah, it's staying in Texas, and it sold for $20, which is so good. Um... My earnings were 16 I paid only 2 so I was really blessed to find it. And therefore, I made my earnings 14 My profit, I'm sorry, my profit, 15 Super grateful to send that baby out. So pretty. Next item I sold, um, again, this is a good and really nice pair of Ugg boots. They are like literally brand new and... They're called Uggs Bandera. Now, okay, Ugg boots, like classic Ugg boots, I feel like they definitely do hold value. I'm not saying these don't. These sold to me really low, and I think that's my fault. But nonetheless, you know, sometimes the way I look at this is I want a good deal, so why wouldn't everyone else? And so I paid 18 um, they sold for 46 making my earnings 34 so 34 minus the 18 I paid left me with a profit of $16 and I am very grateful for that for sure so they're going to Maine um, this is a sweet little story uh, so I remember I shared with you guys that Johnny was camo embroidered top that I found and I was so sad I think it was in the last video that I couldn't keep it because it wasn't my size and it sold and it was staying in Texas remember I ever shared that and I sent it in just now today she got it and she wrote she gave me a five-star rating which I'm so grateful every time I love that and she says I love this top y'all I was remember how much I said I just was like so even sad to let it go she said, I love this top. It's perfect. I can't wait to wear it. Shipped very quickly. Thank you so much with a red heart. And I was like, oh, sweet. I was so thankful and grateful. And then right after, I saw an email stating that the same, I remember, I just saw her, her name, her Poshmark name. And it said that the same person like bought a purse. And I was, like right after, I was like, what? Oh my gosh. So I looked and sure enough, she had bought two items from my closet. She literally just a few minutes ago. Pardon? So she bought the Johnny Was shirt. And then she gave me the review, five star review. And then she purchased this from me. And I was just so, I was thinking, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. So I decided what I'm going to do, I mean, when I wrap this in the craft paper, um, I made it up to show you guys. I'm going to give her a, I'm going to send her a gift, a little treasure. And it's these leopard calf hair um, earring, earrings that I taped onto the back with some, I wrapped them and taped onto this card and put it on top of it when I put it in that box when I ship it. Um, and I'm going to wrap it really pretty. Because I definitely appreciate, and I might even put another card saying, you know, if you ever want to purchase again, let me know, and I'll give you a great discount. Because I do want to honor that and just share, show my sincere appreciation for every single purchaser that buys in my closet. And if that's you, thank you. It means so much to me. And thank you for watching my videos and liking and subscribing and helping my YouTube channel, even if you don't buy in my closet. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. So, anyway, this is going to be going to my sweet repeat customer in Texas. I'm so grateful. And, yeah, so let's see. The next item that sold were, and this is a bolo. Be on the lookout for this brand right here. I heard, <laughs> I picked up the American Eagle. Hold on, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. It's this one right here, which... This is the kind of way different, the opposite, right? This one will sell for really good money. And that is Adriana Goldsmead and um, AG. On here, you can see this pair right here has this red label with the 
the emblem, the, what you call it? Not emblem. Oh, and these are the Jesse Kirby Boot Fit. And these sold for $38, making my earnings 30. I paid eight, so a profit of $22. See, we're getting up into these higher profit margins now. So these AGGs are one of those, and that's going out to Colorado. The next item that sold were these, and this is going to be the most, the winner here, the most profit of the day, <laughs> goes to these big bad boys right here, which is Athleta. And I just shared these in a video, and I'll share it because they were a size 10 tall, and I really wanted to get them because they were 100% linen. And they ended up selling for $43, making my earnings $34, I paid $7, making my earnings a whopping $27. So, I think this is the last thing, and we're wrapping it all up now, right? Um, I hope you've had fun. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for joining me um, in my videos, in my YouTube journey. I appreciate every single watcher and new subscriber. I've, I see that I'm getting uh, quite a few new ones. So if you're new, welcome. Please say hi in the comments. Let me know that you're subscribed and, um, you know, share with me what you like, what content you like and that kind of thing. So um, this morning as I was having my morning coffee, I sit out, I sit by my so on my sofa looking outside and um, pretty much every window I have a bird paradise set up and um, I looked out and I have a bird bath and the, so many different birds come and drink and bathe and so as I was looking this beautiful well first I saw this young or female cardinal and it was right by my window drinking and um so i got the camera and i know i have a screen between it but it is what it is and i just i just videoed and then i looked up and i saw in the bird bath the male a male cardinal was bathing and i just thought it was so sweet that i wanted to share with you also so the clips you saw in the intro and that i'm going to share with you as we leave um, they were taken this morning in my yard in Austin, Texas, actually in the country in Austin, but um, yeah, I just attract and I like to, you know, do those things. So I have a lot of birds, butterflies, and insects, and pet lizards, and pet rabbits, all those creatures that come and they need water and baths and I'm going to be, and food, and I feed them, so I'm going to be sharing a lot through the summer because we do get a lot. We get a lot of different birds. So that's your kind of thing too. You might want to subscribe and um, let me know. So sometimes you might want more bird stuff, you know, or whatever. Fl flowers or garden. I have a garden. So not a lot in it right now, but, you know, it's very hot here. So I have to keep anything alive and hydrated. So with that being said, I'm going to go get me a cold brew, <laughs> hydrate, and... Thank you again so much. It means the world to me to have you here. And I'll see you in the next video, which might be probably the Monday ship with me. See you soon. Bye.